Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for December 8th, 2020. So yesterday we had the bears out there stirring about and they really put in a lackluster or half-hearted performance yesterday trying to move the markets just slightly lower. But at the end of the day, we had the NASDAQ setting the 49th record high this year. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we um, settle into our office chairs? Let's kind of buckle up and get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we have a market that is feeling maybe just a little bit heavy. But at the same time, I feel like we have kind of a um, an euphoric condition here on the market. And when markets get euphoric like this, or euphoric like this, however you pronounce it, they these um, rallies that occur tend to last longer than most people expect. They push and push and push. In fact, it really defies uh, much logic at all as those bulls rush and rush and chase in to very extended stocks. One of the things I want to um, remind everyone, though, is although we have no idea how long um, an euphoric run can, can last, we pretty much know how they all end. They all end in a very painful sell-off that typically um, is is really punishing to those who chase in at the last little bit. So one of the things I want to caution everyone on, first off, remain bullish. The trends are bullish in the market. Although we're starting to see the bears stir about here a bit, the trends remain very, very bullish. We seem to be very focused on the fact that vaccines are coming out, even though we still face a very long winter ahead of us. And clues that our economy uh, may be slowing due to current lockdowns and things trying to combat um, the pandemic spread. So stay with the trend, but be careful not to chase overly extended stocks, those stocks that are really stretched up. We have so many stocks right now in the, in the markets that look nearly parabolic in their move, and yet that hasn't hampered uh, folks from just chasing and continuing to push and chase those stocks higher. Be really careful because it there will be a day, and I don't know when that could be. It could be today. It could be three months from now. But that day will come when all of a sudden there will be a, um, a reversal and it will be punishing to those who get in at the last moment. So be careful not to overtrade and to chase. Let's take a look at these indexes and take a look at where they are right now. Well, first off, looking at the Dow here, as you can see, extremely bullish. We just, even though we had that half-hearted attempt yesterday, it really ended um, yesterday without very, I mean, there was, there was no fear in the move at all. Absolutely no fear in that selling yesterday. And although we pushed down below 30,000 a couple of times during the day, by the end of the day, those bulls just rushed back in pushing us up above that 30,000 level. Now this morning we're gapping a little bit lower as you can see a little bit of bearishness in here um, this morning, but our trend remains very, very strong here in the chart. So no fear, at least at this moment, of breaking this trend. However, if we were to break down below this trend, that would be the problem. If we get that big wave of selling. And what I want to point out is just how dramatic these moves are. Let's take a look at a quick 15-minute chart. And right over here, this is the pre-market activity showing up here. This is a 15-minute chart yesterday of the Dow. And I want you to notice that here, let's go to the... Um, the actual index just to measure um, those moves. So this was um, the last 30 minutes of the day, these two candles right here. This pullback in one candle yesterday, that one move was a point move of about 80 points in the Dow in 15 minutes. 
Notice that this move right here in the next 15 minutes moving into the close of the day rallied and changed 114 points. So just imagine that we moved 200 points back and forth in the Dow in that last 30 minutes of the market. And you can see we have these candles that look much, much bigger here all over these charts. And what I'm trying to display here is the absolute danger and how quickly the market can shift on us when we are stretched out like this and the big point moves that can occur in uh, these charts. So be careful. What you don't want to do is be over trading or be chasing in just thinking the market's never going to sell off. Because one day, if you guys remember these days in the market, how painful those were when all of a sudden the rug got pulled out from under the market. If that were to occur here, the moves could be substantial. So just make sure you're not over trading or extending. And as a matter of fact, make sure you're taking some profits as we move up in these trends. Let's, um, just a reminder here, and I'm gonna continue to remind on this, just to point out just how far away we continue to be from our 50 day moving average in this chart. As a matter of fact, if I go to uh, the Dow, and I don't think anyone out there who follows the markets would say that it's an impossibility that the Dow will test the 50 day moving average again, because I think we all know that's not true, that there is that possibility we could test that 50 day moving average again. And if we take a look at here and just measure down to that 50 day moving average, notice that's 1400 points, how painful that would be. And by the way, that's just a pullback right now to this level of price support in the chart. So it's not like it's even an extreme move to come back and test that area. So just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at um, the SPY. SPY saw a little bit of bearish activity in there um, early on during the day, but in the last few minutes of the day, we pushed back up and left behind this little spinning top here. Just really a little tiny doji candle, no bearishness showing up there. And now we're gapping a little bit lower this morning showing just a, little, a bit more pressure. Once again, those trends are very, very strong. And once again, I just want to remind you how painful it could be if that selling wave comes in um, at this point um, and pushes us back down into here. Now, even a push back into here is a significant point move and could be really painful if you're in, if you're the last one running into the door particularly chasing stocks that are already extended. Let's take a look at the cues. Now the NASDAQ continued to push up and uh, although we're seeing the market breadth um, kind of diminish, we're running out of um, some of that market breadth energy um, as we push up uh, in this market. And notice our volumes are continuing to decline here um, in that chart. But as we continue to push and push and push and push, let's just notice how extended, even in the short term, we are here in the NASDAQ. So watch that closely. If a pullback does happen to begin, it could be pretty rough. Um, so make sure you're buying those stocks in that sector near price support, not near price resistance levels, if you're wanting to trade the NASDAQ. And just remember that we are still a long ways away from that 50 day moving average. And if we take a look at IWM, IWM has been very, very strong, but yesterday we saw some pulling back in those energy sectors and a little bit of pullback in the financial sector. And that gave us just a little bit of a pause here. Now there's nothing bearish in this chart whatsoever, but once again, I wanna point out that this index is becoming a very parabolic in this move. That's pretty much a straight up move here in that chart. Now that can occur from time to time and, and not fail, but what it usually will mean if it doesn't fail, it has to go through a longer term consolidation to absorb that move. So just keep that in mind as you're planning your um, trading and just realize that we are a long ways away from those averages and um, adding danger to every trade that we take. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now what was interesting yesterday is the VIX shot up and we were holding bullish prints until right at the end of the day here, and the VIX pushed right back down on that big surge right at the end of the day. We pushed back down. Notice we're back up here testing that 500-day moving average, but as of yesterday, 
could not really breach through there or hold. And I didn't see any real fear in the selling yesterday. In fact, it was very, very controlled. It was slow and grinding. But there is this little bit of weight starting to, to build on the market. We kind of feel this little bit of weighty pressure up here. So watch that closely. We could soon see a little bit of fear come in if that selling picks up. Watch that closely. And it, I think there is a defining line around that psychological barrier of 30,000 in the Dow. If we drop below 30,000 and then end up holding below 30,000 for a close, that could be that psychological barrier that causes a little bit more selling pressure. So, and, and helps to invigorate those bears. So watch that close. <laughs> Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And let's notice that we continue to stay extremely elevated in T2122. And we've seen periods of time where we've done this before. If you guys remember back over here, we saw that. And if you even go all the way back to 2017, we had a period of time where we were extremely euphoric and pushing the market higher and higher and higher. And then all of a sudden, um, we get that reversal and it becomes very, very painful. So watch that close. Just be careful not to over trade because we are elevated here. Anytime we could see that rest or pullback coming into play in the market. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar doesn't really have a whole lot going on today. A couple things that we need to pay attention to, but relatively light day, as you can see. We have uh, productivity and costs here coming out this morning uh, at 8.30 a.m. It's one of those that's not likely to move the market a lot, but we'll wanna keep a close eye on that. And then just notice bond announcements and auctions. Today, not much going on here on that economic calendar. Um, remember, we've got the jobs opening report uh, tomorrow and petroleum status report as you plan your day forward. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. In our earnings calendar, we've got a few things pushing around here this morning that we'll want to pay attention to. And I want to remind everyone, if you... Um, if you want to get the full list of the notable earnings, and by the way, these are just what I believe might be the notable earnings for the day, um, take a look or click that link right below the title of the video. Go back to the blog and you can get the full list of those. A couple I want to mention this morning, CHWY, Chewy. Um, this has been an incredible run for Chewy. Um, it, it definitely benefited from coronavirus and people not going out shopping, just buying their um, pet food and pet supplies online. Chewy is extremely bullish here, continues in its trend. Um, one of the things I kind of wonder about when we rise this far this fast, whether or not the companies can continue to produce earnings to support these kind of prices. So watch that closely um, as this reports. Um, we are pretty extended in some of these stocks, so just watch them carefully. Let's take a look at GME. Now, one of the things I saw yesterday happening is the gaming stocks started to pick back up again. They have been kind of downtrodden here the last couple of months. Um, they, during COVID, they, uh, the first wave, uh, first big wave, they rallied tremendously, people staying at home. And then they just kind of pulled back a little bit. GameStop held up um, uh, better than others. And as you can see, holding in here a nice little consolidation as we head into earnings in that chart. So watch that closely, GameStop doing pretty darn well. Let's take a look at AZO, the AutoZone. AutoZone reporting this morning. Unfortunately, it looks like they have disappointed here, pushing down here in the pre-market. You can see still running down in this downtrend in the chart. We do have some price support in here. If that can catch, we might wedge here just a little bit. Uh, but I would watch this pretty closely if that happens too fall through that price support in there. Um, AutoZone looks like it's disappointed this morning. Um, CONN, 
CONN reporting today, it looks like it has also uh, disappointed a bit this morning. Notice that we're kind of looking like a bit of a double top high up here now. So watch that closely. Uh, if that um, continues to push down this morning, that could break that down, uh, excuse me, uptrend and show a little bit of problem there in that chart. Last but not least, um, H&R Block. We got that tax season coming up here soon and H&R Block will be reporting today. A um, little bearish candle here right now, but I don't think that's the report. I think we're still waiting on that. Notice that we've run into some price resistance here in the chart and we are uh, pulling back from that. So this report could be very important if it's good enough to pop us back up or if we happen to start breaking down and break this little upside trend to the downside. So watch that one. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for the day. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me a quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please click that subscribe button on YouTube and click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, I wanna ask everyone uh, for a favor here, please make sure, and if you feel that the video is worthy, click that thumbs up button, leave a quick comment. That helps a lot in continuing to grow the channel. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who does do that. Also, please feel free to share this with any friends, family, uh, share it out there on your social media. Just grab that link and post it. Um, I would truly, truly appreciate that. It helps us continue to grow and reach more folks. So, Let's take a look at some of those stocks setting up and remember that when I talk about a stock in these videos that it is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. It is up to you as the trader to make sure you evaluate these trades yourself, make sure they fit your personal risk tolerance, make sure they fit your rules and guidelines for trading. So with that, let's take a look at some stocks that I have some interest in here. Take a look at Etsy. Now Etsy's been one of those companies that it's done really well in the COVID market. And as you can see, we've had this nice little big rally and just really sharp rally and this nice little tight consolidation in here. Etsy's starting to look pretty good. And I think that opportunity that this could maybe start to pop and stretch um, into that next leg up um, could be coming very, very soon. So keep an eye on that chart looks pretty darn good overall. Take a look at Boot. Boot is one that I have been alerting on and um, that's still looking very good. Had a bullish day yesterday while the rest of the market was resting. Now don't be too surprised if this has to continue to maybe slip sideways here a little bit over toward the trend before this really takes off. But watch that one closely. Boot looking really, really good here in the chart. Let's keep an eye on APPS. APPS, another nice little tight consolidation after popping through some resistance here in that chart. Just kind of resting and settling in as we move over here to trend. Watch for that next opportunity for that to pop on higher. I mentioned that some of the game stocks um, were really um, trying to perk up and look better. Take a look at Activision. Activision breaking this downtrend here, pushing up, it held that downtrend as support, just perfect right here, and then broke through a pretty darn significant level of price resistance in this chart. So now you can see we had a little bit of a pullback yesterday on ATVI, pushing this back. If we can hold in here, hold that um, support level, maybe maintain this trend, we could see Activision picking back up. Take a look at EA staying in that same sector. EA also rallying back after this downtrend, rallying back up into a level of price support. If that can hold up here, we might be able to maintain ourselves a little trend up here and see that moving back up. If we are going to be going back into lockdown, who knows, these companies may do very, very well um, in that environment. Take a look at TTWO. 
TTWO, another one of those stocks. This one didn't go through as big a downtrend. You can see just a little bit of a consolidating choppiness in here, but this is powered up, broke through resistance. And although we pulled back yesterday by the end of the day, if we can hold some support up here, um, take two might be one of those stocks to be paying attention to. Let's take a look at um, some interesting things that are holding on. I, I noticed there was um, uh, miners really starting to pick up here just a little bit. Um, Newmont Mining trying to break this downtrend. We've been moving down pretty sharply. Um, moved through that downtrend, held it as support, and now we're up in this area. Watch for a little rest in here. There may be something going on here in that metals and mining area. If we take a look at GLD, GLD also trying to break that downtrend to the upside. Watch that in here. I saw stocks like um, um, AU, um, yesterday trying to perk up trying to break that downtrend here in the chart um, keep an eye on that AUY um, was another trying to perk up trying to break some downtrends also saw silver trying to make a move back up and get over this downtrend so we're starting to see some of those precious metals come back here a little bit watch those closely they could start perking up here pretty well. Keep um, keep those uh, shippers in mind. We have UPS consolidating here in this move and FedEx also holding up pretty darn strong um, with everybody buying online. These shippers have a pretty good story. And last but not least, I want to um, point out that um, we have some old boring companies like IBM. IBM breaking a downtrend consolidating here, holding up pretty darn well. Keep a close eye on that. It's been a long time since I've talked to any at all about IBM, and you can see that this is starting to form up in a pretty decent pattern. So with that, everyone, there's a few stocks for you to look at and a few, few for you to consider. I wanna wish you all a profitable day, a very fantastic day in your trading. Be safe out there, guys. Um, be careful, this COVID stuff is not to be messed with. Watch, uh, watch this market closely. Make sure you're not chasing or over trading this market, but definitely stay with this bullish trend until it finally proves to break. Y'all take care. Have a great day, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early, Wednesday morning.